When you think of airplanes, you probably imagine giant jets roaring through the sky, carrying hundreds of passengers across continents. But not all aircraft are created equal, and neither are their fuels. In the world of aviation, there are two primary types of fuel that power most planes, avgas and jet fuel. While they might sound similar, they're completely different in how they're made, how they perform, and the types of engines they serve. Understanding the difference between these two fuels is not only fascinating, but also reveals a lot about how aviation technology works behind the scenes. So, in this video, let's break down what makes avgas and jet fuel unique, how they're used, and why one can't simply replace the other. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. To start, let's talk about avgas, short for aviation gasoline. As the name suggests, avgas is a type of gasoline used in small aircraft with piston engines. These are the same kind of engines you'd find in cars, although aviation versions are specially designed to operate at high altitudes and under more demanding conditions. Avgas is a refined form of gasoline that contains additives to prevent problems like vapor lock, icing, and engine knocking. The most common type used today is called 100LL, which stands for 100 octane low lead. Despite the term low lead, it still contains a small amount of tetrethyl lead, a chemical additive that boosts octane and helps prevent detonation. Unfortunately, it's also toxic, which is why there's an ongoing push to find a lead-free alternative. On the other hand, jet fuel is completely different in composition and use. Jet fuel is designed for turbine engines, which are found in commercial jets, military aircraft, and even some helicopters. The most widely used jet fuel type is called Jet A or Jet A1, depending on the region. Jet fuel is essentially a highly refined kerosene, not gasoline. It has a much higher energy density and burns more efficiently at the extreme temperatures and altitudes where jet engines operate. Kerosene-based fuel is also less volatile, meaning it's safer to handle, store, and transport than gasoline. So, while avgas is like a supercharged version of car fuel, jet fuel is more comparable to what you'd find in diesel engines, but far purer and tailored for aviation performance. One major reason these fuels are not interchangeable lies in the engine design. Piston engines, like those using avgas, rely on spark ignition, just like car engines, to ignite the air-fuel mixture. This requires fuel that can vaporize easily and resist premature detonation. Jet turbines, however, use compression ignition, similar to how diesel engines operate. Air is compressed until it becomes extremely hot, and then the jet fuel is sprayed in instantly igniting due to the high temperature. If you were to use avgas in a jet turbine, it could cause overheating, poor lubrication, or even damage due to improper combustion. Likewise, putting jet fuel in a piston engine would likely cause it to knock, stall, or fail to run altogether. Another key difference lies in how these fuels perform under temperature and altitude extremes. Jet fuel, being kerosene-based, performs much better in freezing conditions. For example, Jet A1 has a freezing point around minus 47 degrees Celsius, which makes it ideal for long-haul flights where aircraft crews at high altitudes with temperatures below minus 40 degrees Celsius. Avgas, on the other hand, starts to freeze at higher temperatures, making it suitable mainly for low to mid-altitude flights typical of small general aviation planes. That's why you won't see large commercial jets running on avgas. It simply wouldn't handle the conditions. 
Now, let's talk about energy content and efficiency. Jet fuel has more energy per gallon than Avgas, meaning turbine engines can extract more power while using less fuel. This efficiency is crucial in commercial aviation, where every kilogram counts. On the flip side, piston engine planes burn Avgas at a faster rate relative to their size, but they're generally smaller, lighter, and cheaper to operate. This makes Avgas perfect for flight schools, private pilots, and short-range operations. In terms of environmental impact, both fuels have their challenges. Avgas still contains lead, a pollutant that's been banned from car fuels for decades. Even though the quantities are small, aviation gasoline remains the largest source of lead emissions in transportation today. Jet fuel, while lead-free, contributes to carbon dioxide and soot emissions, especially during takeoff and landing. However, the aviation industry is actively researching sustainable aviation fuels, bio-based or synthetic fuels that can replace jet fuel without modifying engines. These alternatives can significantly reduce carbon emissions, and some airlines have already begun blending them with conventional jet fuel. Let's also look at cost and availability. Jet fuel is produced in much larger quantities, making it cheaper per liter than Avgas. Major airports worldwide have dedicated infrastructure for storing and handling jet fuel, given that most of their traffic is turbine powered. Avgas, on the other hand, is becoming more expensive and harder to find because it's used mainly in small piston aircraft a small fraction of global aviation. Some airports, especially remote or commercial ones, don't even stock Avgas anymore, which can be a big issue for general aviation pilots. Avgas and jet fuel serve very different purposes in aviation. Avgas powers piston engines found in small planes and light training aircraft offering quick combustion and high octane for spark ignition. Jet fuel powers turbine engines in airliners and military jets, designed for high efficiency, safety, and performance at extreme altitudes. Both fuels are marvels of engineering refined over decades to meet the unique demands of flight. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.